The Lord is with us, heart dwellers. And tonight he wanted to talk about restitution. This is the 14th of August, 2015. He began, Many of you have spent your whole lives losing things and fighting to keep them. Many of those things I deliberately allowed you to lose. Other things were not my will and served no other purpose than to hurt you. This is a time of restoration. Yes, there is a battle. Yes, darkness is on the increase. But so is my bounty, and many, many things you have lost I will restore to you. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life more abundantly. And many of you are in a time of harvest in your lives. Others are in a time of testing. Rest assured that nothing you have lost for my sake will not be counted and returned to you, shake down, pressed together, and running over. The trials and losses in this world are only temporary and passing. But in the next world, you will see how great a reward I have saved up for you. Many of you in this moment still do not know which way to turn. I've told you, but you continue on in your doubts. I have told you to put your hand to the plow, put your back into the work. Why is it that many continue to wait and put off the decisions that need timely responses? Could it be that you are following the news again? The prognosticators who say it will be on this day, on that day, or in this week, or in that month? Are you still so gullible that you listen to every opinion that tickles your fancy and gives you an excuse to put off your work? This is not pleasing to me, beloved. Not at all. I expect you to get up off your couch and apply yourself. Blessed is that servant whom I find doing my will upon my return. Well done. Enter into your master's joy. But for you who buried your talents and continued on in unbelief, feeding your fears with every prophecy you can find, excusing yourself from your duties, for you it will not go well. The door will be closed and you may not be with those attending the wedding feast. Yes, this is a warning, a serious warning. You have believed me in this voice for several months. Why is it now so inconvenient to believe? Why are you calling into question the reliability of my words to her? Could it be that you are lazy and wanting an excuse to bow out of the hard work ahead of you? Don't make me exclude you, my bride. Don't stand at the sidelines doing nothing in the last minutes of the race? Do you not know that only those who compete according to the rules and run to win receive the reward? There are now more opportunities to gather fruit in these final hours than there were even a year ago. Evil is on the rise. People do feel the darkness increasing. And I'm not speaking of news, but strife, violence, despair, confusion, alienation such as never been seen before on this earth. Alienation with young people, disillusionment is at an all-time high. This is the time for you to offer them alternatives, not only in speaking my words of love, but by being the living light of love. The one who does not pass by the cripple, but stops to comfort and tend to the wounds. The one who does not join in throwing stones at the weak and marginalized, but rushes to their defense and takes them out of harm's way. I am testing you, children. 
I am offering you occasions to exercise love and charity. Are you walking right by them with your head in the clouds? Or are you careful with every footstep to see those who have been discarded by your society? Yet I died on the cross for them. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then I will say, Come, you who are blessed of my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. After the Lord uh, finished sharing that, I asked him, Lord, the increase of sirens and ambulances, does this have anything to do with CERN? It's been outrageous here. I mean, sometimes I have to wait in between sirens before I can record. And during the day, you know, there have been siren after siren, and it's, it's just been unusually active. Well, he answered me. He said, it surely does, my love. Your earth has been blanketed in a new layer of iniquity with millions of demons squeezing through the portal. Yet remember, they are no match for my angels. Yes, darkness is increasing. But I look at the prayers and sacrifices of my children, even those of you on this channel, and my hands are tied. I can do nothing for your prayers have withstood the coming judgment. How wonderful this will be for you, for you shall enter heaven rejoicing and carrying your sheaves with you. This harvest will testify to your obedience and faithfulness. Though it is not applauded and recognized by men from the darkest and most obscure places, the nooks and crannies and alleys, all the way to the government heads of state. There is a harvest taking place at these last hours, and it is increasing because of your prayers. So now I am sending you out to continue to labor in my vineyard. Do not be slack. Do not avoid work. Recognize your sloth and repent. There are those on the verge of conversion they only need someone to love them and show them the way to me. Go out of your way to do a kindness. And they will ask, Why did you do that for me? Then you can tell them about my love, for they've seen it in action. You come into prayer and are filled with my love. Then you go out and lavish it on others. It's that simple. You were merely the vessel serving the fine wine. There's something different about you. Rest assured, it is noticed. Don't force yourself on anyone. Wait for me to lead you. Then gently share my love with them. You have all the answers to their loneliness, their lack of direction, their woundedness, their lack of love and comfort. All of that resides within you because I live in you. You have merely to tip the pitcher and I shall flow out upon them. Go forward now. Pick up your cross. Follow me. Be ready to stop for those who have no one else and pour out my fine wine upon them.